So Google just dropped a major upgrade to its free AI-powered app builder. And today, we're going to break down exactly what's new, how it all works, and, you know, ask the big question. Is this thing really ready to take your ideas from a simple prompt to a full-blown application? All right, here's the game plan. We'll kick things off by figuring out what this AI coder actually is. Then we'll get into the key features that make it so powerful. After that, the fun part. We're going to generate an app, see how to get it into the cloud, and then wrap it all up with our final take. OK, first things first. Let's really pin down what we're talking about here. What is this new tool you'll find hiding inside Google's AI Studio? So let's be super clear. This is not just another code assistant that spits out little snippets for you. No, this thing is designed to be a full-on app creator. The whole point is to build entire applications from the ground up, all with the power of Google's Gemini AI baked right in. You know, the biggest change here really comes down to one word, control. The old version kind of just threw every single Gemini API at the problem, which could be a bit messy. But now, now you get to be a surgeon. You pick the exact tools your app needs, maybe for voice, maybe for images. That precision gives you way cleaner, more focused results. All right, let's get into the good stuff. What really makes this tool a potential game changer? It's all about the features that give it some serious muscle. And this is where you can see they're thinking about a real professional workflow. It's so much more than just a prompt box. I mean, you can upload a whole product requirements PDF to give it context, set custom rules to steer the AI, and it supports major frameworks like React and Angular right out of the gate. This thing is built for serious work. And of course, in classic Google fashion, for those moments when you just want to see what it can do without racking your brain for an idea, yup, there's an I'm feeling lucky button. You click it, it whips up a demo prompt for you, and boom, you instantly see the magic happen. Okay, let's get to the main event. How does this thing actually take an idea floating around in your head and turn it into a real functional app? What's really cool is how transparent the whole process is. You give it your prompt, right? And then you just watch. The AI literally shows you its thought process. First, it plans out the app structure. Then it starts generating all the code and files. And the final step, a live interactive preview of your app just pops up on the screen, ready for you to poke and prod. And we're not talking about some static screenshot. What you get is a complete live development environment. You can play around with the preview, you can dive right into the code editor and change anything you want. And you can even check how it looks on a phone. You have total control every step of the way. This next part is what really proves that Google built this for more than just weekend projects. It's designed to slot right into a professional developer's world. So the AI did its thing. You've got this beautiful working app in the preview window. The big question is, now what? Where do you go from here? Well, your first option is to clone it. Just think of it like making a safe copy. Or if you're a developer, creating a new branch. It lets you go wild and experiment with changes without ever worrying about breaking the original. Next up, you can just download the whole shebang. It zips up all the project files for you, and you can pull it right down to your own computer. That way, you can work on it in your favorite code editor, in your own comfy environment. And here we go. This is arguably the killer feature for pros, direct GitHub integration. You can sync your project to a repository, make commits, and manage your code right from the AI studio. It perfectly bridges the gap between AI generation and standard version control. It's seamless. And finally, the last step, you can deploy it straight to the cloud. You just link up your Google Cloud account and with a couple of clicks, your idea, that little sentence you typed in, is now a live app on the internet. The speed from prompt to production is just wow. So let's wrap this all up. What's the final verdict on Google's new AI coder? Is this something you should actually spend your time on? Okay, here's the bottom line. The pros are huge. It's totally free, it is ridiculously fast, and that direct GitHub integration is a truly professional feature. The main con, for now at least, is that it doesn't have any built-in database options. But hey, that could always change down the line. The source material we looked at for this explainer really hit the nail on the head. They called it one of the best experiences out there for vibe coding. You know, that feeling of just rapidly building based on an idea, an intuition, a vibe. Which leaves us with one last big thought to chew on. 
when tools like this make it so easy and so fast to go from a simple idea to a deployed application, are we walking into a totally new era of software development? An era where maybe, just maybe, the next big app starts with nothing more than a single sentence?